Hi Leo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 24th through the 30th. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Leo, so there is the Six of Swords. Some of you could be going on a journey. This could be physical travel for some of you. Okay, that's interesting. King of Wands. Others, you might be going on a journey with a King of Wands. So this could be a fellow fire sign. So an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Let's see. I do want to say welcome to all of my subscribers. Uh, welcome to my new subscribers. Uh, everybody who is joining me today thank you so much i do appreciate it if you're not subscribed please do subscribe i do appreciate it all right this reading is for leo sun moon rising and venus signs if you're a cross watcher you also might be able to resonate with some of these messages leo what does the sign of leo okay wow so Ace of Wands, uh, for some of you, it is in reverse. So you need to turn this upside down here. Uh, you need to turn it upright, I should say. So you're moving towards a new beginning. If you're a man, it could be that your passion, your desire... isn't as strong as maybe it once was and it could be because of fear anxiety fear um but that er energy is there so you can you can make some changes this is why we have readings so you can see the energy that's coming up for you especially you leo men okay i think that you're definitely going through a great change and for some of you, you know, it's not the easiest. We have the Nine of Swords here, so it's not the easiest. You definitely could be losing sleep at night, dealing with lots of fear and anxiety. All right, so we have the Magician and the Knight of Cups. Okay. Leo. Here's the Queen of Wands. So we do have a couple here. So now I just need the overall energy for the week for Leo. There we go. Two of Swords. Interesting. Let me just make sure these cards are straight. So at the bottom of the deck, Leo, I do have the Page of Cups. So those of you that are married, those of you that are coupled, you might have a child. There could be a child that's significant, maybe a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio child, or a very sweet uh, child, very sensitive child. For others, this is this is uh, romantic communication that's coming in. If not romantic, because it won't be romantic for everybody with this being a general reading, uh, this would be friendly, kind for some of you sweet uh, communication that's coming in. Someone being very nice to you or you being very nice to someone. Let's see here. Okay, so some of you could be making a new friend. We have the Page of Cups with the Three of Cups. So some of you could be making a friend. Others you could be making up with a friend because I see that a friendship has failed. For some of you, a friendship has ended. And if not a friendship, a relationship. Uh, I definitely see an apology coming in for some of you. But this is, this is, for many of you watching this, this is a friendship that has ended. 
there might have been a falling out with someone. Ten of Swords is here, so, so there certainly could have been a betrayal of some kind. This is interesting. If I keep going, I have the Ace of Swords. Here's the Fool. So some of you are dealing with an Aries, and you just came up in the Aries reading for this week. I said this last week as well. There's this Leo Aries connection that keeps coming up that I keep seeing here, you might be ending a, a difficult cycle. So something could have failed or there could have been a betrayal. Some of you though are maybe speaking your truth or if you cut somebody off or they cut you off, Leo, one of you, one of you is leveling up. One of you is reaching out to this, the other person, speaking your truth or apologizing. Now, if you're apologizing to someone, you could be apologizing to them and then cutting them off. You know, it's a general reading because I think that some of you do want to completely release this and move on so I have a couple here and then I have the Knight of Cups so I am reading for some Leo's where you might have had a third party interference or here this week you might have maybe a young uh, water sign coming in or someone who's kind of like Romeo or Prince Charming coming forward. So it doesn't matter if you're male or female, there could be a proposal, there could be a friend, there could be a third party's energy around you, and you might already be coupled because I have a couple here. Uh, so there could be maybe someone who's asking you out, someone who's interested in you, but you might, you might be married if not married with someone, um, maybe they didn't know. So this could be someone um, interested in you. You could be rejecting them, maybe telling them that you are involved with somebody else, maybe they didn't know. So for some of you, there is an offer of love. There is a proposal that's coming in, but it's not going to work out. I see rejecting them. And if the king of wands is your husband or someone that you're with, I, I see them freaking out a little bit. So this isn't going anywhere. Like I just mentioned, um, something is failing, something's not getting off the ground, something isn't working out. And so we have the ace of wands in reverse. It's not, it's not going anywhere. And so here we have the king of wands uh, looking at the nine of swords. And so if this is your man, if this is your husband, He's obviously aware of this, and I think it's freaking him out a little bit. Now, if you just ended a relationship, some of you, maybe you're newly single and you have this, this love interest that's coming in. You might not be seeing it because we have the two of swords leo is the overall energy so s some of you are completely closed off completely blocking your heart it could be because someone just betrayed you a relationship just ended we see the possibility though for you to um manifest something new we have the magician here in the spread the ace of wands we have the knight of cups the page of cups and we have death so the energy is there if you wanted to do something with it you could when it comes to making big changes um you could do that but you would have to get inspired but you you have the two of swords as the overall energy so right now there could be a block some of you may be blocking your heart blocking this idea blocking this possibility just not seeing it just not open to it Whatever it may be, you might still be recovering from the past or there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear uh, with the Nine of Swords. You stressing out maybe a little bit too much when it comes to this. It 
could be fearing that somebody is a liar. There could be a number of different things here. Um, if you're already involved with someone, if you're dating someone, I definitely see a very strong connection, very strong physical attraction on both sides. So if you are already coupled, if you're involved with someone, could be that your partner is, is trying to re-spark that passion with you. Or if you're just dating someone, it could be that somebody is ready to take something to the next level, but there could even be an offer for that that's coming in here this week. Somebody ready to move things along. This could be a, a process, a very slow process. If you're just dating someone, you know, we've been on lockdown for several months. And so this person might want to spend some, some time with you. They might want to travel to see you. And so there could be an invitation coming in here. And I definitely see a very strong attraction between you both. But uh, you might be saying no, Leo. If you're a female, you might be saying no. It could be because you have a lot of concerns, a lot of fear here. If you have a history with this person, they're trying to come back in. If this is an ex that's trying to come back in. I see some of you definitely a little hesitant. You're not completely ready, even though uh, some of you, you can change this energy. If you're married, if you're with someone, if you've been trying to have a baby, uh, this is literally for one, two of you. If you have not been having luck in that department, I think it's going to happen. You need to stop thinking about it. Definitely take care of yourself, but I do see, I do see it coming in. Tell yourself it's going to happen. So if you and your husband, you, were, you and your wife have been trying to conceive a child, I do see it coming in now. I, I'm not going to calculate it, but uh, some of you could be having a water sign child. So, I mean, this could be a Pisces that's born next year, could be a Cancer that's born next year. Because I see two of you becoming three. For some of you, there is a child that's coming in. Uh, your life is about to change in a very big way. Uh, but you need to escape from this energy here, this Nine of Swords. Just enjoy the, the ride, enjoy the process, the journey. Um, some of you maybe are thinking about it too much. But let's pull you an additional guidance card. That's, you know, that's for a very small number of you, but I, I did want to address it. Leo. All right, you have two cards that jumped right out. So let's see here, Leo. Journey. Focus on how far you have come, not how far you have to go. You will find help in unexpected unexpected places. Very nice. And I can't speak. I can't speak. So um, for some of you, Leos, perhaps you need to say something. Uh, maybe some of you need to get something off of your chest, and therefore. Uh, this will help basically eliminate this energy here. Uh, you have journey and you have rebirth. So this is this is wonderful. No matter what happens, you can find new wings. Rise from the past, accept the positive change that is coming in. Yeah, you're definitely going through great change, Leo. And you have everything you need when it comes to making this happen, when it comes to manifesting, when it comes to co-creating, you have everything you need. Now, yes, we've seen the 10 of swords at the bottom of the deck. So something, something could have happened in the past. There could have been a difficult ending. There could have been a betrayal. 
but there is this rebirth there is this great change that you're going through so needing to trust the, the process because it's definitely a process and also there's going to be help in unexpected places all right leo so i hope that you found this reading helpful if you are not subscribed please do subscribe i do appreciate it i will mention that over on vimeo i do have the love tarot scopes for the month of august if that's something that interests you that link is below all of my links are below all right guys stay safe and have a blessed week